Good evening. It is 5.40 p.m. on Sunday the 2nd of February. It's Groundhog Day. And um, I haven't actually found out yet whether Phil's predicting another six weeks of winter or not. Yes, I am a huge fan of Groundhog Day, even though I live in the UK and we don't actually celebrate it here. Um, I love the fact that one of our movie channels uh, shows Groundhog Day all day long. It's on all day. So this is going to be a quick video so that I can actually go and watch Groundhog Day while I've got the house to myself for a bit. <laughs> um, yeah, it's 5.40pm, it's, it's Groundhog Day, and it's time for today in my boo journal. How are you? Are you alright? First off, um, this isn't going to be a full one, okay? This is just going to be a sort of... Let's move the mic a little bit closer. Does that sound a bit? Um, it's going to be a sort of, this is my plan, because I'm going to do... A couple of things that might be a bit different but we're gonna catch up first all right so the pen i was using was the 30th so i'm a, i'm i'm way out here so i just need to try and remember what i did saturday was the so that was thursday what did i do on thursday anybody know what i did on thursday what i did on thursday no me neither oh i went shopping for my mother watched Picard and I pretty I think I spent the day at home really so I'm gonna put that I did my nightcare routine and I can't remember on the rest of it so yeah let's just get caught up and then we can sit and have a quick chat quick chat about things yeah I love Groundhog Day I just think it's a fantastic movie um the the concept is you know I don't know how they came up with the whole idea of um and hello and hello daryl's here say hi hi um yeah i'd love to know how they came up with the idea of this hi. groundhog being able to predict winter just by seeing a shadow and who decides whether he says he saw it or not I vaguely remember last year mary was not so um up there with my uh squeals of delight over the over the groundhog <laughs> I don't think maybe you didn't like it or something. Was it you? Somebody didn't like it. Right. Um, oh, I've just thrown something at me. I don't even know what it was. Desperately trying to tidy up and all that rubbish. I'm not doing very well. Um, I know I put the dishwasher on on Thursday. But that's about it, really. Okay. So that brings us to here. I went and got rolls. I missed eight point again. I'm so sorry. I'm I'm really I'm awful. I don't know why she's friends with me. I really really don't because I'm a shit friend. Okay, I'm just putting this out here. I am a shit friend because I, don't, I she comes to all my lives and I have made barely any of hers. And I'm really sorry, April. I really am. Now, did I post finished week three? I will get my shit together one of these days. It doesn't help that Alex is going through this new game at the moment. So I'm like, want to watch it, want to watch it, want to watch it. He finishes playing that or he's playing that in the evening. And I keep falling asleep while he's playing that as well. It's so annoying. Oh, sorry, itch face. Um, because I'm like, I'm actually missing out on things here. I'm missing out on this game that I want to watch. I'm missing out on april's lives and i woke up at i think it was about one o'clock last night in the this morning to a message from um uh, andrea saying uh productive dragons asking after you i was like Fuck, i've slept through it i slept through the live because i'm so notoriously bad so this was friday now i know i wore makeup on friday because somebody told me i looked nice but I can't remember. I've been crafting quite a bit lately, so I know I did my night care because I've not. I don't ever miss that. Uh, I know I took. Oh, I didn't mark what I did my meds. I know I took my meds, and I'm pretty sure I crafted. The trouble is, it's not just like me watching other people's YouTube that's suffering. My boot, my bullet journal itself is suffering because. I like to journal in the evening but it's not getting done because 
I keep falling asleep because these fucking pills. You know? So if anybody's got any smart ideas other than stop taking the pills, then I would love to hear it. And yet I recorded my mood and pain. That's odd. So... Friday, my... Yeah, I think I was all right. So I'm going to end it about there. I know because not much has changed. So let's finish that off. Now let's jump back to Fitbit. And then I go to bed and I sleep up there as well. And I'm like, oh my God. How can I sleep so much? And I don't feel any better for it. I feel crappy, if anything. I'm throwing that pen away. I'm so sick of it not working properly. Okay. Yay, finished spreads. Love finished spreads. <laughs> okay, so... On the Friday I did the loo, I did some laundry. I did a little bit in the office. I haven't yet collected my meds. And I completely forgot to set up the races for my Fitbit group. I didn't think about it till yesterday and I was like, oh shut, I forgot it. So let's move on to yesterday and then we're going to have to flip the other way. <laughs> okay, so this is going to get a little bit confusing. So yesterday, so the February cover page was posted yesterday. Week four is finished and I think I'm pretty sure it's photographed. My track is here. It's so weird having it on one page. Now, this was yesterday. I wore day face cream. I didn't do makeup. I didn't do the challenges. I definitely had more than one can and I had a drink, but I didn't have any chips. So yay me, and I crafted, we didn't do homework, I did take my meds, and I did my night care routine. So yeah, I wouldn't want to go any smaller than this, I don't think, well, maybe one more, but I think that's plenty small enough. I do like it on one little page though. Right, now, card of the day, yeah, I haven't done it. But I am going to, and I'm not going to do it here because of the amount of space that I'm going to need. This is a challenge that I found on Instagram. There's a, a um, you know the Bujo Challenges person who posts all the challenges for the bullet journals that she can find. This one is the same, but for divination challenges, tarot cards, crystals, runes, all of that kind of thing. Do you know what I mean? And this one is a two card a day tarot thing now i was initially going to do it here and then i was thinking about it, i thought you know what two lines is not going to be enough to write down for two cards so i'm actually going to move this into my journal and i'm going to do it in there along with all my other challenges this will still be my card a day so i will pull a card a day and then a bit later on i will do these challenges i haven't yet done it i haven't yet done yesterday's but that will get done at some point so I coloured her. I think she looks, great. she looks so cool. And yeah, I'm ignoring the um, measuring bits because I. So yesterday was let's put me about there, and my pain about there. Okay, so. Okay, then you do that. Oh man! Oh man! What did you just do? Okay. So yesterday I did just over fifteen thousand. So 
sister, did the loo, the laundry, tidied up a little bit more in here, did the dishwasher, and I cleaned the bathroom. Now I need to switch back to that week because that is the first. Yeah, it, April was on, and I, like I said, I slept. So, yeah, I need to sync my planners. The only appointment I know that I have is. Oh, it's in the other room, so I can't bother to do it right now. Okay, so now let's go to today. Actually, I'll tell you what we'll do for the card a day. I will pull a card for today and tomorrow. So I am going to start off with the Everyday Rich Tarot. And let's grab a colour. Let's grab that one. 946. So I'm pulling a card for today, but I'm also pulling a card for tomorrow. So 946. The Knight of Pentacles. This is a dashing, daring young witch off on his adventures. His bags are packed. He thinks he's got everything that he needs. But I don't know. His broom looks a bit untidy. Is this person dashing? Sorry, I didn't realise I was out of shot. His broom looks a tad untidy, doesn't it? It's all like wishy-washy and all that lot. His tools are just slung in haphazardly. They look like they could fall. The cat is holding onto a coin, but again, that looks like it's about to fall. It's not dressed warmly. He's only got this small pack. So he's going off an adventure, but has he really thought about what's going to happen and what it entails? Yeah? So that's something to think about. So I put adventure awaits, but are you truly ready or rushing off half cocked? So let's put that one there. And today's card is the Eight of Wands. This card is akin to spinning plates. Yeah, trying to keep all your plates in the air. You heard that phrase or something similar, you know. Um, this is. Are, are you taking on too much? Are you trying to do too much all at once? Um, if so, sooner or later, one of those plates is going to fall and it's going to break. Do not bite off more than you can chew. I've put, so you have a lot of plates in the air. Be careful one doesn't fall. Can you really take on more? Sorry about that. That's my reminder to go and take my medication. I haven't got a drink to take it with. So I'm just going to have to keep snoozing it. Because if I stop it... I will actually forget, believe it or not. Okay, so that is that. Now, we are on to today. I am going to mark how I'm feeling today. Um, today was quite good. We went to a party this, more, uh, this afternoon. Um, I'm a little bit achy, so I think I'll just put that up at one as well. I need to weigh myself and measure myself, but I've already eaten, so I don't want to do that today. Okay, now. Two days of sleep. So it says here I didn't go to sleep till two o'clock. That's because I woke up at like one and I was just like, ugh. And then I couldn't get to sleep. So two and two. Well, that says 9 o'clock. That's not bloody right either. That says 9.30. That's because I refused to get out of bed. But Daryl actually woke up at 7. So I only got, like, sporadic sleep. Yes. Um, obviously, I can't do my steps until later on. Now. What have I done today? Day. I cleaned the loo. I've not stripped the beds. I must do that tomorrow. I cleaned the worktop this morning because Alex spilled sugar everywhere. Idiot. Right. I need to jump back to. 
Sunday. Right. We went to Lacey Rose's party. Ooh, it's Sunday, Doc. Who day? And I've done the work we cut on scores. So yeah, Doc Who day. Alex is at training at the moment, but when he gets in, we can sit and watch Doctor Who and I can finish my stepping and that's all of that. Right, so let's jump to February. The end of last month, you saw me put that in. Um, I, I ran out of room and patience and all of that lot. So I chucked a couple of um, prompts from uh, one of the challenges I was doing. I chucked that in here and I did a little bit of journaling. I didn't bother journaling yesterday, quite simply because I didn't really do anything. I had a pyjama lazy day. Here are my challenges. This is Spring Your Florals. And this is hosted by Spring Valley Art and B, as in Buzz Buzz, B, B's Letters on Instagram. And this is one of those every other day one. Yeah, like, um, what's Artsy Doodles? Does Artsy Doodles still do them? Because I haven't seen those for ages. So that was that one. <laughs> I'm also going to do Rando Doodles because that's every day. And I think that can be as difficult or as easy as I want to make it. You know, a daisy, well, that could just be a regular, like, a, a cartoon type daisy, which I'm quite love. The words. This is by hazels.pineapple.patch on Instagram. Or lettering with Susie and keep living faster is the co-host. And this is, the, the reason I picked this one is because this is the only one that on the 14th didn't say happy valentine's day because i'm not going to be feeling very valentine -y come the 14th because my first bereavement counseling is scheduled for the 14th of february how fucking ironic so from this one it says to me from me so i'm going to buy myself something on the 14th of february and you know that'd be it and i also joined this one this again is an every two days type thing so i thought this would be good um, this is calligraphy, spelled I-E, with Liz. So that's C-A-L-L-I-G-R-A-P-H-I-E with Liz, L-I-Z. So it's like the first and second, hello February, third and fourth, I am as beautiful as all of the other roses, I just have more thorns. Now each of these is a um, line from a poet. And the idea is, is that you letter it and then you give credit to the actual author and if their instagram um handle is here you're supposed to mention that as well and then you upload the photograph so i figure that these two aren't going to be too bad this i think is actually going to be the hardest one because i want to draw these ones properly so it's now the second and i haven't yet done my calla lily so i'm going to be doing that this evening and i'm not going to do it on camera because i don't want to sit here and do it I want to go sit in the other room and watch Groundhog Day. Because, you know, it's Groundhog Day. But, <laughs> yes, I'm covering this page. Um, I've had an idea. And um, it's mainly came back because a couple of people asked me to do this. I'm thinking of setting up a Fibre Crafts with Pretty Tap per YouTube channel. Okay, this will be separate from my bullet journal. And the reason I'm doing it on a separate channel is so that the videos themselves are separate. Um, I will reference this channel down below once I've done it. I haven't set it up. And I thought I could maybe teach people how to knit and then later on how to spin and how to crochet and things like that. Um, I could talk about sewing, but I'm not very good at it. So, you know, that might come later. So I started just I did some notes well, in between sort of doses <laughs> of what I could do. So I thought, you know, I could do a video on how to cast on stitches. For those of you who have no idea what I'm talking about, that's how to turn your string into stitches on a knitting needle. <laughs> you know, there's also things like um, tools, tools to use. You, do you straighten knitting needles? Do you do cables? You all of that. OK, so I, I do videos on all that. And then I could do a video on the knit stitch, video on the pearl stitch, video on guard stitch, you know, all these different types of stitches, how to cast off, how to do decreases, how to do fancy cable work, um, how to work um, two items on a circular at the same time, how to do reversible knitting, oh, excuse me, um, the difference between tinking and frogging, um, how to read charts. And then I thought maybe we could do some projects, like um, let's make some socks 
um, and a reversible baton hat because uh, I've made one for all of my boys but Arnie doesn't have one. Arnie is my plus one son and um, if you don't know what that means then um, basically he is my second son's best friend and he's been coming in and out of my house since he was 13 um, and he calls me his second mum. So he's my plus one son and he doesn't have a Batman hat. I made him a Star Wars scarf a few years ago but I didn't actually make him a Batman hat but I made the other boys one. Even Daryl's got one, it's the, it's the only hat he wears. So I thought maybe this year I could do a series of videos on how to make this because the chart is free and I use a different pattern to make the hat so you know and I'm pretty sure that pattern is free too so if it is that's something I could do so yeah tell me what you think is this I know not everybody's into it but I just you know I'd, I'd like maybe like some support if everybody's up for that so yeah we'll see right so let's move into today now I don't really know how to, what to do here because I want to put the colour lily in and I want to write Hello February because Hello February is on two of these so I might do a whole page saying Hello February there I actually just want to write challenges there as well so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put Hello February there and then I'm going to draw my colour lily is that the is that the, yes all right oh god i don't know whether i've just turned that off or what oh man i've just turned my own notification off so i'm going to forget now to take my meds uh, <sighs> oh that's the usual yeah right okay so i, I could draw a, a lily up on there hello February on these two and then over here I can do own it I've got to draw in a daisy and a rose so I'm going to spend the evening doodling flowers so I think I'm gonna put um, just put the number two in here I've also got these these are scrap junk journal typish prompts which I'm hoping to incorporate. There's 80 odd prompts. So I'm every now and then I'm just going to pull one out and do one. You know? And it's things like, um, what was that one that I just saw? Make a card for your 80 year old self. Write about who you are today and what you're proud of. Which I thought was quite a good idea. Make a list of craft supplies that you need when you take that dream trip. All of them. Uh, fussy cut or draw a sheep and decorate its coat to your heart's content calligraphy a few sentences from a favorite poem or saying and decorate around it uh, fill a whole page with vintage or modern postage stamps that are not your favorite but in your favorite color you know stuff like this uh, make a bookmark board from chipboard for your current journal so all embellishments and decorations do not bother your writing embellish of course uh, make five embellished bookmarks for his gift of friends. I don't have five friends that would do that, want that kind of thing. Um, plan an afternoon by yourself. Imagine the weather is so bad you have to stay inside. Make it an afternoon to remember. That might be a good one to do. So yeah, I'm, I've torn them into the strips. Um, now I've just got to, and I've just put the put them on a ba uh, paper clip. So that is going to live in here, and I'm going to pull it out every now and then, and basically just pick one. You know, if I run out of something to journal about or anything like that i also had an idea on actual junk journaling now i feel like what i did before kind of failed i wasn't really junk journaling i wasn't putting stuff on the paper and i was just writing on the tea, tea and coffee dye paper and it was failing in the sense that um i didn't like what i was doing you know that the pens wouldn't work properly and um yeah my fountain pens didn't like the dyed paper because it's it's dry but i love the look and i really really want to do it and i'm you know i'm sort of like oh. so what i'm gonna do 
I am gonna make a new journal, make a new junk journal. For this, this is not gonna, I'm not gonna stop using this one. This is for when this one's finished, which is obviously it's gonna be a few months. But um, the way it's going to work, I've actually made myself a note look. There's a new Michael Selsky now. Is there? Oh, that's cool. Yeah, I just got a toilet. Um, and I will make it with all of the pages from books that I've bought that I'm, I want to use as pages and bases for my junk journal. I will still do my drawing challenges and writing challenges on Tom My River Paper. Yeah. Um, and then I will cut them out or I will, you know, tear them or fussy cut or whatever. And I will adhere the Tom My River Paper onto cardstock for tags and pockets and tuck spots. Yeah. And then I will do my regular journaling, journaling on large tags. That and then I would journal on one side of the tags. Hello. So if you imagine that um, this is my tag. See a minute. Okay, it's plain. Hey, can can I see what's on this side? No. Off you go. And um, I've I've made so this is my tea dyed paper here. Yeah. And I'm gonna draw a picture. I'm going to follow, follow my challenges, right? So my challenges are that I have to draw a calla lily and a daisy. So I'll draw a calla lily and a daisy and I'll put it on uh, a pocket, yeah? And I'll put the pocket on here. So I'll have a base page of music notes or something. Do you know what I mean? Something like that. And I'll put it on a pocket or a tuck spot or whatever. Then I will go and I will make a tag. On the top side of the tag, I could maybe do my calligraphy, yeah? And then I could turn it over and I could write my journaling on the other side and then that get tucked in my tag and all of that lot. And I can use, you know, if I don't want to draw on the pocket itself, I could maybe just draw on the paper and then stick that down on my base pages. And then that way I get to use pretty pictures out of pretty books if I find stuff, you know, stuff like that. So I'm going to give that a try. Obviously, like I say, it's not going to be for a while because I'm going to be in this for a couple more months yet. But I might start um, doing that just to practice to see whether it's something I like doing or not. So we will see. Okay, so today is Sunday. Now... I saw this really um, video recently and she had this stamp and it the first letter was a capital letter J and then there was an A and an N next to it similar to that for, for the month and I was like oh I really like that and I've looked everywhere and I can't find them and I just thought oh I could do that because I, I wouldn't want to put the day you know February every time because I know it's February because I fucking tax this day <laughs> but it would be nice to sort of have them like that for the days of the week so i thought well i can't find that i'm bloody well draw it so yeah <laughs> right i am gonna go and draw my flowers off if i um get them done in a good time i will come back if not i will just upload this video as is so you might see me again today but you might not let me just put all my pencils away my pens away rather okay um yeah if i don't come back well you know have a fantastic day and all of that lot and I will see you in the very, very near future. I just wonder if I've still, I've done with my little stencil. There it is. Good, as long as I haven't lost it. Um, yeah. <laughs> so I will leave that there. I. I'm, I'm sorry it's not you know I'm not doing it all on camera 
but I need to move about basically because my back's been pretty bad lately and that's just the way it is but I will come back hopefully a bit later on if not I will show you what I did before I get going on the next video all right thank you so so much for watching me please feel free to give this video a thumbs up uh don't forget to leave us a comment down below because we you know we like the comments and we like the kisses we love all kisses every single comment gets a response whether it's a like a love or a written reply every single comment might take a couple of days because sometimes comments get shifted to spam and it's a couple of days before i'm notified about it but i do respond to every single comment okay click the book down here in the corner and you will be subscribed and if you hit the bell it then appears down there somewhere you'll be notified when i upload new content thank you so so much for joining me today i really 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 do appreciate it and i really do love the people that continue to support me even though i'm a bit flaky have a fantastic rest of your day and I will see you next time. Take it easy guys.